yeah, the first part is the two parts of the warm up. The first part of the warm up is more static. We're focused on more mobility stuff, uh, glute activation. The second part of the warm up is going to get your heart rate up, and then we're going to move into some running specific drills, which aren't going to be too high intensity but really focusing on our control and I'll talk you through all of that. And then the last thing we do, we're gonna ramp your heart rate right up to finish. It's gonna be a full body hit and that's hopefully gonna get you nice and sweaty. So there's a few different parts to work out. First one's like, it's just gonna take you through some nice easy warm up. Hopefully you guys got a mat or something. Three more static exercises to begin with, I'm gonna walk you through. So the first one is, is cat cow. So if you guys done yoga, you may know this one. We think about flexing and extending through our spine. So literally just holding those positions. We go high, we go low. So you're gonna be in that for 30 seconds. Next exercise, we're gonna go through a thoracic rotation. So you're gonna take your hand, you're gonna put it on your head and the elbow is gonna rotate from this position as far around as we can. If your mobility is really good, it's probably better than mine. You're gonna, you can put your hand behind your back. It makes it a little bit harder. We can do the same thing. Elbow rotates around. These exercises that I'm taking you through guys, they're gonna warm you up for what we're doing today, but they're also running specific. So if one of you guys are going out on your runs, you can do these exercises to help you warm up for your nice long runs. They're really important to do to get your hamstrings lit up, glutes activated, and our full body ready so that we can stride out on our runs. So sorry, got a bit sidetracked there. Final exercise of our static warm up. So we go from our cat camel or cat cow into our thoracic rotation. And then final one, we just step out and then we're gonna rotate round. We've got 30 seconds. So we're gonna hit the right side in the first set. We're gonna hit the left side in the second set. And then we're gonna move into the more dynamic stuff. So 20 seconds or so, get yourselves ready, get yourselves onto your mat and we can get moving. Right, ready to go guys. So first one, we're gonna go cat camel. Coming in, we got five, four, three, two, one, here we go. So on those hands and knees, extending that spine up, sucking yourselves back down. Again, really try and push the floor away from you, round off your upper back, and then suck your belly button as close to the floor as you can. Halfway, 15 seconds down. Really stick that butt out. Curve up through that spine. Five seconds, we're gonna go thoracic rotation. Right elbow first. We go in three, in two, in one. Let's go, right side. We go down and try and get as far as you can round. Right side, open it out. Pointing back down to the floor. 10 seconds, we go into our final stretch before we come back to the start. You're gonna step out in that high plank position. We go three, two, one, and right foot comes out. We rotate round. Again, we're trying to get the elbow down if we can, so you're pushing deep into those glutes. So get down low, and then we're rotating round. Halfway, 15 seconds down. Try and get that arm as far as you can round. Really articulate through your spine. Last five seconds, we come back to the start. Cat cow. We go. Three, two, one. Back to your knees. Here we go. We go spine up, push the floor away. Suck that belly button down. Spine up. See, I actually call this a cat camel. I know it is called a cat cow, but I was like, what cows have you ever seen look like this? Whereas all the camels do it, so. I've kind of renamed this one. Right, ready to go. Thoracic rotation on the left side now. You got three, two, one. Here we go. Left elbow, rotate round. And again, if you're more advanced, you can place that hand behind your back. Makes it a little bit harder. You look really awkward doing it. That's because it is really tough. I'm going to stick to the easy way. Halfway, 15 seconds down. Rotate, open up that spine, good. Final three, two, one. Right, final stretch, left foot goes out. Try and get the elbow down to the toe and rotate round. Elbow down to the toe, rotate round. It's called the world's best stretch. It feels good, you wanna really push into that glute. 
final 10 seconds, you're gonna get a little rest, and then we hit our dynamic part of the warm-up. You got three, two, one, shake it out. Right, so the more static part of the warm-up's done, and now we move into more dynamic part of the warm-up. So we just got three exercises again, 30 seconds each, we go around twice. So super simple, we're gonna keep our legs nice and straight for the first one, you're gonna flex your foot up, and we're running stiff leg on the spot. Second exercise, we go high knees. Try and get knees as high as we can. Third exercise, we go for a swing. So here we're trying to fire up those hamstrings, right leg's gonna go first set, left leg's gonna go second set, we come up, really stretching through that hamstring. So three exercises, twice through that circuit, and that ends our warm up. Ready to go in, we go. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. So first one, running on the spot, make sure that toe is flexed up on that foot. Again, these exercises, guys, that you can do before you go running. You can even do this as you're running. So I can run down the street like this. 10 seconds, we go, high knees. We got three, two, one, high knees, face the front. Trying to get that heart rate up now, trying to get those knees nice and high. So you got 15. You got 10, we got right leg swings. We got five, four, three, two, one. Right leg goes, here we go. Don't push it too far hard at first. We're just still warming up those hamstrings. We go once more through this circuit. We go stiff leg runners. High knees, and then we'll hit that left leg. Final 10 seconds here. We got five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Second time through the circuit, so back to our stiff leg runners. Make sure those feet, those toes are pointing up, and you're really pulling your foot back down to the floor hard. Ten seconds, we go high knees. You go. Five, four, three, two, one. High knees. And again, I'm thinking about using my arm movement here. So I'm staying relaxed in my upper body, but my arms are driving, knees are high. Fifteen seconds. Last 10 seconds, we're gonna hit that left leg swing. Yes, Gav, here we go, keep moving. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Left leg swing, go. Get that toe nice and high. Drive that leg up. Final 15. Go. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Take a rest. Shake it out, guys. Good job. So just while you grab your water, have a listen up. So next part, it was going to the animal flow. So animal flow, we're going to move into a bear position. So bear position, I'm thinking about my knee sitting directly under my hip. So my knee's not too far out, it's not too far back. So knee sitting under my hip, and my hand is sitting directly underneath my shoulder. So this is the position I'm in, my, my knees are just off the floor, and then I'm in a strong position. So my hands aren't too far out, and not too far back, in a really strong tabletop position. So, again, a bit like we did that warm up, we got three 30 second exercises. Yes, Gav, love the playlist, it only gets better, mate. I'll post them the playlist on my Insta after this. So three exercises as part of our animal flow. The first one is a lateral bear walk. So in that position I just described, we're gonna move laterally. So knees off the floor, 
I'm keeping a nice straight spine and I'm going to go left and right. That's the first exercise. Second exercise, you're going to try and keep your knees off the floor if you can and you're going to move into a bird dog. Why does my, why do your feet hurt? Just make sure those toes are tucked under. If it gets too much, you can let your knees hit the floor. So if it gets too strenuous, let your knees come down, but we're always trying to keep the knees up. So second exercise after the lateral walks is a bird dog extension. So what I'm gonna do here is extend my right arm and my left leg. So my right arm comes out and my left leg straightens. Slowly come back and then my left arm straightens, my right arm extends behind. You need a little bit of balance for that exercise, so just take it nice and slow and really focus on keeping your core tucked in tight like you're trying to take a punch. So alternate and again, if it gets too much, you can let your knees hit the floor and then we can just move from that position there and it becomes a lot easier. So that's the second exercise. Final exercise, we're thinking about a back extension. So there's too much in fitness where people are doing sit-ups, too many sit-ups. So our posture, especially as a runner, we want to try and stay nice and upright. So with our sit-ups, it's just going to curl you forward. So back extension is just going to open up that spine into this position here so my posture is a lot more neutral because that's how we think about when we run, we think about a high chest. So the third one, back extension, looks like this. So laying on the floor, I come up, I extend out, come back, and then I come down. So up, out, back, down. Three exercises, we go 30 seconds each. This time we're gonna do three sets, so a little bit more now. But again, it's not too high intensity, so you should be all right. After that, you'll get another break, and then we'll start moving into our running specific exercises. So here we go, animal flow, ready to move. Coming in, we got 10 seconds. The lateral bear walk goes first. We go, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, lateral bear walk, 30 seconds on the clock. So you should be moving about roughly about two meters. If you've got a mat, roughly the long distance of the mat. And again, back's nice and straight. My glutes are engaged left and right. That's 15 seconds down. Five seconds, we go straight into that bird dog. So right hand, left leg, we go. Three, two, one. Try and keep your knees up if you can. Right hand, left leg. Then we go other side, left hand, right leg. Again, if it gets too much, your knees can hit the floor, but try and keep those legs up. 15 seconds in. Ten seconds. We go, five, four, three, two, one. So now, just straight down your front, back extension. Up, out, back, down. Up, out, back, down. Halfway. Really peel high off the floor, reach out, back, bring it down. Final, five, four, three, one, we go back to the first exercise. Straight in, lateral bear walks. Hopefully you're getting that sweat on now, that core is burning up, nice and tight through your stomach. Make sure those knees are under your hips. 10 seconds, we go bird dog. You got five, four, three, two, one, here we go, bird dog. So knees up, we go. Right foot out, left back. And again, if it gets too much, your knees can nose down, but try and stay up if you can. Ten seconds here. We go. Five, four, three, two, one. One, last set now. Final time through. So we go lateral bear walks again. Shoulders should be burning up a little bit now. Twenty seconds here. Two meters side to side. Stay low. Stay in that good back position. Spine as flat as you can. 
You should be out there's a glass of water on your back. You want to make your heart make it a cup of coffee. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Third dog, last time. Here you go. Left leg back, right arm out. Keep that core tight like you're going to take a punch. Halfway, we got one more move, that's our back extension to finish this circuit. Yes guys, nice, hold it tight, and back. Final exercise, back extension, go in three, two, one, here we go. Really reach out far as you can. Final 10 seconds. And we go. Three, two, one. Shake it out. Good job. Good job, guys. Grab your towel. Grab your water if you need it. Next section, we're going to move into our running specific S&C drills. I've got a right sweat on. I hope you guys do. I always think most people just sat at home just watching me, having a biscuit and a cup of tea. Not you guys, right? You guys are working hard. Right, so next session, Tabata. So we're gonna go 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. So a little bit different now. You're gonna get a little bit of rest. You can't feel your shoulders, don't worry. There's no shoulders in the next section, you'll be good. So we go 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds rest this time. So you're gonna get a little bit of rest to help you reset because we're working for that a little bit longer. So three exercises here. It's a little bit unilateral stuff. It means we're working one side of the body. The reason that you train one side of the body is because obviously when we run, we're only landing on one side of the body at once. Obviously, when we run, you land on your left foot, you land on your right foot. So we wanna try and stabilize the muscles through those legs as we're landing, so that we're not getting any knee injuries, we're protecting our VMOs, the muscle that surrounds our kneecap. So, three exercises. I get carried away with these explanations. Three exercises. First one, we're gonna go for a reverse lunge into a knee drive. So you're gonna do 20 seconds one side, 20 seconds other side. So we go, step back on your right leg, and I'm gonna put all my body weight through the front leg to come up. So from here, up, there's a small jump, right leg steps back. This front leg is doing all the work on the reverse side, so I'm never pushing off my back foot. The front leg is taking all of that weight. So here, up. We go 20 seconds on that leg, and then 20 seconds other side. I'm just gonna pause that song because I want the whole thing to play. <laughs> Next exercise, so we go single leg RDL. So this exercise, because we're not using dumbbells, we really have to focus on moving slowly and engaging through our core. So if you do it without a weight, it's gonna feel easy. To make it feel harder, I want you to focus on the muscles that we're trying to use. So there's a difference between doing an exercise and feeling an exercise. To feel the exercise, you have to squeeze, you have to hold everything tight, and you'll feel it so much more, you'll get all the benefit. So single leg RDL. So I think about here, my, my torso is mirroring my leg movement. So it's not torso, then leg. They're at the same time in a seesaw motion. I go down, again, so you can see that I fell off balance. So it's, you need a, a bit of balance in this exercise. So take it nice and slow. We go touch and back. Nice and slow, touch and back. That's the second exercise. Again, we're gonna go 20 seconds each leg to equal the 40 seconds of working time. And the final exercise is lateral speed skaters. So we go, left side, land that right, nice and slow, big jumps, side to side. That one's gonna get our heart rate up again. So there's three exercises there. The first two, we go right leg, then left leg. So we half the 40 seconds into 20 and 20. And the last exercise is just right, left, we bounce. We've got three circuits of this. So three exercises, three circuits. You get another little break. Let me explain again, and then we've got our final two full body hit to finish. So, first one, ready to move. So we're gonna go 20 seconds, left leg, 20 right leg. 20 left leg, 20 right leg, and then 40 seconds in total for our speed skaters. Hopefully, that's all clear. And again, I'll try and explain as I'm going. 
10 seconds we're going to get in. Music's coming back on. So ready to go, first one. Reverse lunge into that knee drive. 20 seconds right, 20 left, we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's move. Nice big step back, nice big leg drive. Ready to switch legs, here you go. Three, two, one, half the time. All that emphasis is driving through that front leg. Three, two, one. 20 seconds rest. Sun's come out for me. So 15 seconds, now we're moving to our single leg. RDLs, you've got 20 seconds right, 20 seconds left. Breathe, ready to go. We go, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, so right leg first. I go slowly down, touch, and back. Hinge, slow, and back. Again, slow this exercise down. Keep your core tight like you're trying to take a punch. Slow down, touch, and back. Ready to switch legs. Here we go. Three, two, one. Other side. Slow down. Touch. And back. Five, four, three, two, one. 20 seconds rest. And dance. 20 seconds, final one, we go lateral speed skaters. 10 seconds, we go. Left, right, left, right. It's gonna get the hurry up. Coming in, three, two, one. You can still do this with control, so we're not going crazy fast. I'm softening my landing each time. Halfway, 20 seconds down. Final 10 seconds, you get 20 second rest. Five, four, three, two, one. 20 seconds, shake it out. So that's one circuit down, we got two to go. 15 seconds, remember we got reverse lunge. We got 20 on the right, 20 on the left. Coming in, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, right leg first. Remember, all the emphasis is going through that front leg. Small, small jump. Upper body stays as upright as we can. I'm never leaning forward, I'm always staying back. And switch, other side. Very small jump, all the power in that front leg. Three, two, one. 20 seconds, shake it out. Ready for the Romanian deadlift? Is that too loud? I get carried away with the music, ready to go. 10 seconds, we've got stiff leg deadlift. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Slow. Now that's why your heart is gonna come down and touch, and you're gonna focus on your movement. Stay slow, abs tight, touch, and back. And switch legs, so other side, right leg straight, left leg goes. Keep it slow, don't rush this movement. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one. 
and rest. 20 seconds. Brady's coming to our speed skaters. How are we doing? Last one killed me. Keep going, guys. You're smashing it. 10 seconds, speed skaters. Remember, nice soft landing. Soft landing into each leg. Use those VMOs. Coming in, we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Soft landing. seconds halfway down really sink low into those glutes soft landing 10 seconds three two one check it out do a job 20 seconds rest and we got that one more circuit one time through then we get a bit of a longer rest two minute rest before the final component. Here we go, last time through. Starting with that reverse on you to drive. Five, four, three, two, one. And switch sides, other leg. Set back, dive up. Three, two, one. Shake it out, 20 seconds rest. Single leg deadlift, here we go, right leg, 10 seconds. Right leg goes back, we're folding in half. Try and push your hips back. Five, four, three, two, one, here we go. Turn it around, other leg, here we go, left leg back. Here we go, three, two, one, 20 seconds rest, shake it out. Last exercise on our circuit, speed skaters, and then we'll get a nice long rest. Raise, come in. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Speed skaters, soft landing, drive off that stationary leg. Nice, guys. Last one, we get a nice long rest. So stay with me now. Soft landing. Seconds, we shake it out. Here we go. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Good job. You get a little bit of a longer rest now. And then we got two to four minute sections to finish this off. So grab your water, grab your towel if you need to. A little rest. So, last two sections, so full body now. There's three exercises on each section. Again, we're gonna keep it nice and simple. We're gonna do 30 seconds of each exercise. You then get a 30 second rest, and then we add all three together into a circuit, or what's known as an AMRAP, one of those bullshit CrossFit words, basically means circuit. Two minutes of that, you rest. So that total is four minutes. We're then gonna get a minute, two minute rest, one more four minute circuit and then we are done. So 
So four minute circuit, two minute rest, four minute circuit, done. I take you through some stretches. G gasping for what, Gav? A song, some water, more stash, raise move. So three exercise. We go. Butterfly sit-ups, glute raise, and then burpees. So the first two aren't that gassy. Butterfly sit-up, glute raise, should be feeling okay. Burpees gonna ramp the heart rate up. So we go. Butterfly sit up, soles of your feet are together, knees out wide. So my feet aren't planted, they're together. Touch behind my head, touch my toes. 30 seconds in the sit up. We then go to a glute raise for 30 seconds. You then roll onto your front. 30 seconds of burpees. So when we go through them the first time, 30 seconds each, it's just to get you into the movement. Then we get a short 30 second rest, and then we add the three movements together in a circuit for two minutes, where we'll go eight sit-ups, six glute raise, four burpees. Eight, six, four. But first, we're just gonna go 30 seconds through just to get you used to the movements. Raise, come in. Where you go? So onto your backs, raise, move. Sit-ups first, 30 seconds, we go. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Sit up. Touch behind your head, touch your toes. Halfway, 15 down. Raise through to the glute raise. We got five, four, three, two, one. Plant those feet, lay down on your back. Hips up. 20 seconds to go, Murphy. Fifteen seconds. Final ten. Ready for that burpee? Here you go. Three, two, one. Burpee. Here we go. Turn through it halfway, 15 seconds down. Let's move, let's move, let's move. It's just you and the camera now. No one's watching you, no one's there with you, but you. It's your choice if you want to do it. We gotta move. We go. Five, four, three, two, one. 30 second rest. Just chill out for 30. So 30 seconds now just to catch your breath. So now we're used to the movements, we add them all together into a circuit. So I go eight sit-ups, four glute raise, no, sorry, eight sit-ups, six glute raise, four burpees, eight, six, four. Eight sit-up, six glute raise, four burpees, two minutes, ready to go, we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's move. Eight sit-ups to go. Now you really gotta go for it. Four burpees to finish. Back to the start, eight sit-ups. Eight sit-ups. Six glute raise. Four burpees. And 40 seconds down. Four burpees. That's me. I've done two circuits. You've got less than a minute. Can you go now? Can you go now? Music's gonna come in final 30. Thirty seconds. Thirty 
Now your heart really should be going. So you got a little rest now. And then we're gonna do the same structure again, where we've got three new exercises. A little bit tougher this time because the very last thing we're doing, four minutes, and then you guys are finito, done. So new three exercises, here we go. Mountain climbers. So we go 30 seconds, mountain climbers. We then jump it up, 30 seconds in a squat. And then the final one, something a little bit different, it's a broad jump into a reverse bear, bear crawl. So we go, broad jump as far as we can, hands hit the floor, and then I bear crawl back to the starting position. Up, jump, reverse bear crawl back. Go again. So, there are three exercises. First two pretty simple, last one a little bit tougher, but it's the final thing we're gonna do. So we go, 30 seconds mountain climber, 30 seconds squat, 30 seconds broad jump into that reverse bear crawl to your starting position, jump, bear crawl back, jump, bear crawl back. 30, 30, 30, 30 seconds rest, and then again, we're gonna put it into a circuit, a two minute circuit to finish. This time the numbers are a bit different. We're gonna go 12 mountain climbers, six squats, three broad jump, reverse bear crawl. 12, six, three. That'll be the final circuit that we do. But again, we're just gonna get used to the movements to start. 30 seconds of each of them, 30 second rest. Then we hit that circuit. Ready to go guys, last thing we're gonna do. 10 seconds, we're in. Right, here we go, first one, mountain climbers. We go, three, two, one, move. You can find the beat here, use the music. You go, one, two, one, two, one, two. Hopefully you can hear the track, it kicks in, good song. Seconds we move to our squats. We go five, four, three, two, one. Jump it up. Here we go. Squat now. Thirty seconds. Just an ordinary day. Twenty seconds. We move to that broad jump. Reverse bear crawl. Ten seconds. Just an ordinary day. Here we go. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Here we go. Big four jump. Down. Reverse back. Thirty seconds rest. So now we've got the movers. Hey, hey, I heard you say. Yes, lots. Right, thirty seconds rest. Then we hit that final two-minute circuit. So we go twelve mountain climbers, six squats, three broad jump to reverse bear crawl. Final two minutes, guys. It's you, your camera. No one's around you. No one's there to support you but you. You got to put the work in. Here we go. Final two minutes. We go five, four, three, two. One, tall mountain climbers. Yeah, 
Okay, guys, I'm here with you. I'm here with you. Work with me. Six watts. Three, four, jump. Back cool, just three. Then we go from the top. Set two, 12 bouncy punch. Hit it, hit it. Now you gotta go. What you got? What you got? Up six squats, move. Just over a minute and you are done. Don't quit now. Now's not the time to quit. Four jump, bear crawl, hit it. Just three. That's two seconds down for me. Where are you guys at? You with me or you behind? Now's not the time to quit. You gotta go. Less than a minute. Hit it. Here we go. 35 seconds on the clock. Can we finish that circuit? Bouncy bear crawl. Hit it. You got now, you gotta go. Yeah, here we go, 15. Can we go again? Ah, move, move. What we got? Six, five, four, three, two, one. Done. Yes, guys, killed it. Virtual high five. Ah, uh, smashed it. I'm gonna take you through a very quick warm down. I know so I've gone a little bit over my time. Sorry, Loz. A little cool down, we're done. So grab your drink. <sighs> Can't breathe. <laughs> breathe now. Gavs knackered. Good. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Like I said, now quick cool down, a little stretch out, and you guys can go and have some lunch. So just gonna start standing position. Walk yourself out into a down dog. Push into your hamstring. Here we go, up dog. In that up dog, just take a little right. And take a look. Left. Right. Left. Go stand high, down dog. Come low, look right. And one more time, down dog, send your butt high, pulse into your hamstrings. Last time, up dog, look right. Now, just gonna step out. Right leg, like we just start, we're just gonna send your knee out and back in. Just very small pulses. Very small pulses. And then just sit back. Stretch out your hamstring. And then push the hips forward. Very small pulses out on that leg. And back again. Stretch into that hamstring. Point that toe up. Try and get that chest down. And then here we go, right side. Right foot out, small pulses out. And sit back. Stretch out that hamstring. Coming forward again, pulse it out. Come back. And 
and active glutes, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you guys got a good workout. I got a good workout. Maybe see you guys soon. Take care. My name is Harry Sellers. If you're on my playlist for music, head over to my Instagram. I'll give a swipe up. I'm on Apple Music. If you're on Spotify, then tough shit because I'm Apple Music. See you there, guys. Thank you.